हेलो हेलो सो आई डोंट नो लाइक इफ आई शुड स्टार्ट विद एन इंट्रो और समथिंग बट आई जस्ट वांट टू आस्क कपल ऑफ थिंग्स यस प्लीज गो अहेड सो व्हेन यू लाइक कॉन्शियसली लुकिंग एट द लूप्स दैट योर लाइफ आर गेटिंग इनटू एंड आई मीन द साइकल्स दैट आर रिपीटिंग एंड देन यू ट्राई टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट एंड देन यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग यू आर नोटिसिंग व्हाट थिंग्स यू हैव डन uh i mean things that you could have done better or in terms of something that uh may give you a better result later so even though you understand the cycles even though you do the right things even though you know that is right for you in the longer term you are going to have a better feel out of it but being in that moment if there's a bit of um you know the feel where you know that is be is troubling you is is something that your body that your mind is not accepting and there could be a more comfortable way to do it uh so yeah so uh we don't do i mean uh, we usually we tend to do what's more comfortable and not what's more uh of a conscious selection so being aware of both the possibilities no matter what you do the right thing or the less lesser right thing you you all i mean you always feel stuck there so what is that kind of I mean, what is that process why it happens yes very good question that we often tend to be lazy instead of doing that which is most required we do that which is uh, minimal we just uh, instead of kill instead of cleaning the house we simply move the garbage under the carpet most of the time in our lives so why is that there are natural processes in the mind that are designed to conserve energy this is the human um, or animal tendency that uh, we are not built to work too much more than needed this is how it is Uh, mother nature favors efficiency not hard work so you will always find this tendency in everybody that they do not do in the whole job at one time they do not do that which is needed for complete to complete the that work or to take that whole step they do the minimal and that is because every layer in the mind is trying to conserve energy it does not want to do something which is absolutely not urgent so it is this is the cause for not doing your best just doing the patchwork everybody everybody suffers from this thing so what is the solution the solution is to become aware that this is happening and to take take baby steps towards doing that which is most needed to solve that situation solve that problem or to complete to achieve to reach the achievement of your goal whatever it is so it may not happen in one day it may not happen in two days or three days but uh you can take one step at a time fully knowing that there is a resistance there to work hard fully knowing this we simply start somewhere then take the next step and the next step slowly you will build up the momentum to do the whole thing properly and it must be done beautifully all the actions must be done beautifully it can take some time but that is most satisfactory so hopefully that was your question and hopefully my answer was useful yeah yeah i mean uh, part of it but one more thing uh, so if i try to resonate with nature so nature takes since you said uh, nature mother nature taught us to do things at uh, the uh, with the minimal actions but like the nature itself built over millions of years and its progress seems to be uh unmeasurable if we talk into smaller time duration time frame so if the nature is teaching us if the nature is trying to synchronize with us i mean or we are or the other way we are trying to synchronize with nature and adapt its uh habitat or 
characteristics into our life so instead of you know choosing the smaller smallest path to make it done quickly shouldn't our body and mind is already be um you know aligned in such a way to perform things that takes longer and shouldn't we already be having this ability to um to bear with the time it's taking and not get and not get uh you know stressed about not seeing the results yes you are talking about the long term planning which very few people do it they keep thinking about it but they do not plan it there is a difference between thinking and planning the planning must be broken down into manageable steps and uh, you can observe mother nature and nature does everything incrementally it does not do everything suddenly so incremental evolution is the way and it tries many many things at once the mother nature is doing it like this that it tries many possibilities at the same time and whatever is successful that is given more attention so if you prefer that kind of uh, planning then break down your goal into small steps and try many things to reach that uh, stepping stones a step complete the first step try a few things see what works so that that is uh, the natural way and uh, there is an artificial way that you imagine the whole process exactly and precisely and then you hope to achieve it uh, very in a very mechanical way that i'll do this and only this nothing else and that usually fails and that is why people don't uh, and do it so in such a mechanical way they simply if there is something to be done they simply go out of their house first they say let's let's try let's just reach there reach, reach that place and then we'll see what happens and the next step in the so that is uh, uh, more more like mother nature and we are built to do like that we don't plan our whole life in one day and then we take steps to walk on that plan we never do this it is we take things as they come that is the most natural way to keep your goal in your mind whether you are proceeding to your goal or not and then do that which is necessary today at this time this is the formula for success so i think uh, i mean i'm just talking about myself personally here so i don't want to be successful or i don't have a thought about being successful i don't have a goal what all i have is i take 200 actions a day so my thing is to just take actions about things and not having a goal actually because every time i take uh, set a goal it's like it turns out to be a stupid decision to setting up a goal for myself personally so and since i stopped setting up goals and just doing things it, it, it's turning up it's it turned out to be more self development but the results are not there which i'm not actually much uh, uh concerned about what i'm concerned about is if i'm taking actions where are these actions going i mean where is it being consumed if i'm doing something better in t- uh, for uh the sustainability for anything that any kind of uh betterment i'm doing towards nature so where is it going and if it can be measured yes two or three points there i have i have no goal but uh, it seems that i am going somewhere but where am i going and how to measure my progress so i'll tell you your goal and it's the same goal for every creature in this universe and the goal is happiness and freedom now the ways to achieve so okay. yeah so i feel like i have both and i feel like static earlier i used to be so fragile i mean i mean i used to be here and there doing things and finding out that is more into the uh the outside vibrations that i see doing anything the the thrill of it i used to think that is um, what's 
uh, building me but then i suddenly got more static where i don't have to move around and i feel more uh, fulfilled without doing anything and if i keep uh, being on the same way there would be a time where i'm doing nothing so for example earlier i was taking actions but now i feel like without taking actions i am there uh, satisfied fulfilled i don't have to do anything so but that's a uh, contradicting of uh, me taking actions i mean actions are important for us i mean that's what i felt earlier but these are totally opposite things so this is what's happening i'm being like uh, complete without doing anything but i think it's it's important to take actions as well if i want a betterment in nature or support it in any possible way okay so first let let me go back to uh, my previous answer that the goal is decided for you it is happiness and freedom and how to check your progress first how to achieve this goal do that which you love most and do that which is most necessary that is how we achieve this goal and how do we measure the progress on this uh, towards the goal the more you progress the more peaceful you will be the less agitated and anxious you will be the more blissful you will be probably you will not be dancing and jumping with joy there is no such thing it is a simply egoic action the real progress is measured by the amount of peace and bliss carelessness that you develop as you progress and about this thing that i am not doing anything but i keep thinking that i must do something so that is just some mental activity uh, if you are happy not doing anything just rest be peaceful if something comes up which must be done which is necessary the action will happen and it must happen in total awareness only intelligent actions minimal actions must be done nothing more needs to be done if you are on your path you will see the your joy and your bliss is increasing if you are not on the correct path you will see that your anxiety and your uh, unhappiness will increase you will go in depression so choosing a path is a must and this is how we decide which is my path the path of my heart is where i get most happiness and most freedom so think about it for some days and then come back in satsang and let me know uh hmm good so yeah one more thing just that who decides the necessity uh based uh, it could be i mean your necessity could be something else and my necessity could be something else it's i mean i might have no necessity for something which other person may feel as it's necessary for this person to do so is it necessary to define them it is very easy that which is necessary cannot be avoided simple formula and it will be different for different people yes but we are not concerned with people we are concerned with my own life mostly so that which cannot be avoided is necessary it will happen no matter what we cannot make a list of necessary things and then we start doing it it's that is not possible whatever comes and if it cannot be avoided that is necessary yeah but is it manipulated also i mean can we manipulate i mean if when what happens when we manipulate it what if we manipulate it for example something that is necessary for let's say for me to eat to be able to function properly but i suddenly stop eating and i just go on you know water diet and i'm just consuming water for 3 days straight so i manipulated the necessity of food. <coughs> so what's actually happening when i'm doing it it is very easy to see that if you do not do that which is necessary suffering happens and that which is necessary can be postponed a little bit but cannot be avoided if you could postpone it for long time for your whole of your life then it is not necessary and if you cannot postpone it for for more than a specific time then it is a necessity for this life so for example eating you said breathing 
you can hold your breath for one minute cannot be postponed even going to bathroom cannot be you cannot postpone it too much so life has already decided what is necessary now recognize it and do it it's very simple yeah that's it i guess okay very good think about it let me know in the next satsang